Hey Body Bags, uh, BDG Reviews here. What we're reviewing today is an interesting little thing. This is um, the Ghost of Sierra del de Cobra. Cob Cobra? I don't know. That. <laughs> um, what makes this interesting? This, um, it stars um, Martin Landau. And it was originally designed to be the first part in like... It was, it was supposed to be like the... What's, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, the pilot episode for a show that was going to be essentially like... Um, kind of like The Outer Limits or The Twilight Zone. But it was going to focus more on horror. And this was back in uh, 1964. So yeah. Um, so essentially it was made as a pilot. It, it didn't get picked up. So they ended up like going back and adding to it and making it like a feature length movie. And the basic story is I don't want to give stuff away, so I'm just seeing how much of this I could really tell you. Okay, so this woman comes back home, uh her husband's blind and he's been like living at home, so he, she comes home from like some like a business trip or whatever and on their property. He's quite a rich guy, and he, on his property he has like a a crypt or whatever, and uh, like I guess where they put all their dead over the years. Um, and his mother was terrified of being buried alive, so she had a, she had a phone put in there, and essentially he's been getting calls from the crypt, so she. You know, the wife comes back, she calls in uh, Martin Landau, who's like a paranormal, like, debunker type thing. And he's going to investigate everything that's going on. That's it for plot. I'm not going any more into it. Um, this movie is interesting. I mean, when you watch it, it feels like a pilot, honestly. It feels like a very short story that was bulked out. But, and this is what makes it kind of interesting, it is shot really nice. I mean, I would put the the use of shadow in this, I would put up against um, Nosferatu or Cabinet of Dr. Caligari like any day. It Really good use of shadow in this. And an actually kind of scary ghost that shows up and it's actually and seeing it on blu-ray you know also you so you see you see it big you know it's it it stands up it honestly does it works quite well so yeah if you're into like older stuff you know um ghost type stuff hell if you're a fan of the old twilight zone and and uh outer limits and stuff like that you know you should definitely give this a shot uh the ghost of sierra de Cob cobre yeah that's going to piss me off until I figure out how to pronounce that. <laughs> but yeah, um, for rating, I give this a 9 out of 10. This is something... This could have worked better now, I think. Because, you know... Than it would would have back then. I guess people were probably burned out a bit on, um, you know, like The Outer Limits and... And, like, serialized shows, I guess. But... I think it could have been cool. It was going to be called The Haunted... And uh, this Blu-ray, though, also includes um, the uh, alternate version of the movie, which is the the pilot episode, just called The Haunted. Yeah. So there you go. Ghost of Sierra de Cobber. Cobber. Cobber? I don't know. Screw it. Uh, <laughs> see you next time.